All right, so after a few hours of prep work, um, I put the gray primer on. Um, put three coats of the gray primer. Let that dry in between coats. And then I put on uh, three coats of the um, clear coat. It's this glaze gloss clear coat that comes out really well. Um, but I uh, let that sit overnight and then I wet sanded it. Um, then I put, I use a Meguiar's um, cleaner wax and then I put a Meguiar's polish on top of that. So I cleaned it up. So the results are pretty good, as you can see. Yeah, it turned out really nice. So my hope is, um, that this comes out a little bit brighter. Something more like the spoon. I've been playing around with it. So this stuff wipes off. That's the whole, you know, there was a, a few issues that led me to not want to use graphite. You know, one was that it rubs off pretty, pretty easy. You can see right there. Now this is on a spoon, so I don't know if the, um, you know, the texture of the spoon is causing that more to happen. It probably is. But also graphite was dark, you know, I wanted the, uh, this is the all clad. This is the brightness I like, but obviously it's dull, really dull. But you can see like, this is amazing, but it's dark. You know, if you wanna do any oiling um, effects, weathering effects, you're, it's not gonna come through well. You know, if you add any like dark, you know, like um, a black uh, um, oil paint or something like that to it in the crevices and things like that. Um, I don't really see it too well. It's dark, but freaking beautiful. Now, obviously, I didn't spend a lot of time on this one. You can see ripples in it and stuff. I spent more time on this test piece. This is just a test part. Um, it still has some imperfections, but the Terminator did have imperfections. It had little dimples in the uh, in the finish and stuff, you know, where the... You would put, like, the... You know, you'd see, like, dark little spots in it here and there. So, it, you know, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, which I'm okay with, but we need that shine, right? So I'm hoping, I'm gonna apply the graphite to this. I'm gonna clean it off with some Dawn dish soap, like I did with the other one. And then apply the uh, graphite powder and see what happens. Hopefully it lightens up a little bit more. Either way, I'm gonna go with this method, I guess. It's the best bet. I mean, I, I have no luck with airbrushing or painting on this. That Molotol is amazing, but it, you have to be, it has, the stars have to align for that to be right. Um, Sometimes it is, sometimes you get that overspray on it in certain areas and then it gets a haze. It's just not good. So let's see what happens when we add the, uh, the graphite powder to this, um, to this gray. All right, so here's the uh, final product. The uh, powder applied, the graphite. Um, not bad. It's really good. And it's a little bit lighter too. So if I put this in the sun, it came out a little bit. It's got that more chrome. So this this will work really good. And then any imperfections like inside of here, I couldn't get in there. So I'll just fill that in with some, put some black oil paint or something in there. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Much better than the uh, with the Molotol. I mean, there's certain areas with Molotol that's just unbeatable. I mean, some of that is just, but it does rub off. Like even if you touch this one, it'll rub. So there's no clear coats that you can really put on these things. But anyways, hey, that's the final product. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go with it. So uh, on to the actual real parts. Stay tuned.